During their existence, theme parks, and roller coasters in particular, have spread to every corner of the globe. It's extremely likely that you've been on a roller coaster at least once in your lifetime. But did you ever question the origin of these thrilling rides? Many consider the birth of the modern day roller coaster to have occurred close to 60 years ago with the revolutionary breakthrough of tubular steel technology. However, the entire history of these vast attractions date back even further in time. In this video, we'll explore the history of roller coasters from their humble origin to the huge adrenaline machines that they've become today. The initial concept of roller coasters can be traced back to 17th century Russia. Dubbed Russian mountains, these primitive rides featured large wooden slopes which stretched close to hundreds of meters. In winter months, the slopes would be packed with snow and sprayed with water, creating a slippery surface. Riders with conventional sleds would climb to the top of the slope and then slide down. In the warmer seasons, wheeled carts were used to go down the ramps, creating the same effect. The concept of large slides quickly made its way across Europe to France during the Napoleonic Wars. French soldiers enjoyed the concept of Russian mountains and took the idea home. The French quickly began creating their own primitive roller coasters, named Les Montagnes Russes. Eventually, in 1817, the country went on to produce the world's first full circuit roller coaster in which the start and end points of the track were joined. On top of this, Les Montagnes Russes became the first slides to use individual tracks to secure sleds in lanes, effectively becoming the first roller coaster in the form we know them today. On the other side of the Atlantic, North America were also developing their own basic forms of roller coasters. In the 1800s, the Mock Chunk Gravity Railway of Pennsylvania began taking riders on a 30-minute journey down the side of a mountain. Previously used to transport coal, the railway stretched for nine miles and featured several steep drops. Businessmen were quick to take the idea of riding carts down slopes and commercialize it. In 1884, Lamarcus A. Thompson constructed the iconic switchback railway at Coney Island in New York. Despite being only 15 meters tall, the switchback railway was hugely popular and ushered in a new era of roller coasters in the United States. Slight modifications were made to the original design by other businessmen, including the introduction of a full circuit variant and a cable to lift the trains to the highest point of the ride. As development in the industry occurred, Thompson created his own company and began selling his roller coasters throughout North America and Europe. Over time, the name of the rides evolved, eventually becoming known as Scenic Railways. Several of these rides can still be found in operation today, including the Scenic Railway at Dreamland Margate in the United Kingdom. As the Switchback Railway made its way around the United States, entrepreneurs began creating new ways to attract and thrill riders. Lena Beecher opened the Flip Flat Railway, a roller coaster with an 8 meter tall vertical loop, in 1895. The Flip Flat Railway became the world's first inverting roller coaster, allowing riders to go upside down through a tight circular loop. However, the design of the ride was flawed. The circular nature of the loop caused riders to be subject to intense g-forces, resulting in many blacking out during the ride. It was this design flaw that ultimately delayed the widespread use of inversions on roller coasters for many decades to come. Following the success of the Switchback Railway, interest in roller coasters across the United States soared. Designers began experimenting with a figure eight layout as seen on Leap the Dips, but this was only the beginning. The creators of the time set about designing the tallest and fastest roller coasters ever seen. Rides such as Coney Island Cyclone, the Big Dipper at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk's Giant Dipper all opened during this time period. In total, over 2,000 new roller coasters were constructed throughout the era, only a few of which remain operating to this day. The widespread mass production of roller coasters drove innovation in ride design. In 1919, John Miller patented the concept of upstop wheels, which vertically secured the trains to the track. This breakthrough allowed designers to produce more aggressive roller coasters, ones in which guests could be given a sensation of weightlessness. Unfortunately, this period of extreme roller coaster popularity did not last. During the middle of the 20th century, interest in roller coasters and theme parks in general 
began to decline. Events such as the Great Depression and World War II led to many theme parks closing throughout North America due to a lack of resources and diminishing visitor numbers. Despite the lack of interest, some notable roller coasters were built around this time, including Hershey Park's Comet and even the world's first tubular steel roller coaster, Matterhorn Bobsled, at the original Disneyland. Interestingly, it was in fact the opening of Disneyland in Anaheim that brought theme parks back into the eyes of the general public. With the breakthrough of steel tubular track, which saw trains secured to tubular rails rather than flat rails, a huge number of other steel roller coasters began being constructed not only in the USA but also worldwide. The new interest in roller coasters also caused theme parks to begin creating record-breaking rides to re-attract members of the public. The racer at Kings Island became one of the first to gain mass attention for being the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world in 1972. It was only a few years later when Aerodynamics, a roller coaster manufacturer of the time, unveiled the corkscrew at Knott's Berry Farm, the first modern day roller coaster to feature inversions. The following year, Schwarzkopf, another manufacturer of the era, produced Revolution at Six Flags Magic Mountain the first modern day roller coaster to feature a vertical loop. Unlike the vertical loops of the past, Revolution features an elliptical loop, heavily reducing the amount of force experienced by riders. Since the inception of modern day looping roller coasters, the entire industry has undergone massive expansion. A record number of new designs and concepts have been constructed over the past few decades, and this shows no sign of stopping. Models such as the inverted and wing coaster have changed the way we experience rides, while 4D and spinning roller coasters provide guests with a unique ride every time. If you'd like to learn more about the history of modern day roller coasters, let me know in the comments down below. Nevertheless, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. A huge thanks goes to all of the new Patreon supporters, especially Joseph Robson, Alexander Richardson, Alex Mann and Furry Juice. If you want to help the quality of the channel improve quickly over time, consider becoming a supporter on Patreon for as little as $1 per month.